My grandfather, uh, his name was Victor Monterrubio, uh, El Maestro Monterrubio, and he was from Tampico, Tamaulipas, and he was an illustrator for Coca-Cola for over 40 years. He took the time to take me to by his side and take me under his wing, uh, but it was private. And more than anything, it was just between me and my grandfather. Next thing you know, I became a professor of art. I am Diego Gutierrez Monterrubio, y yo soy pintor. I've been creating a body of work revolving bulls. My grandfather would listen. He was a he was a an aficionado of La Taurina, which is a aficionado of bullfights, and but the whole culture, not necessarily the the violent part. When we were in the studio when I was a kid in Mexico, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old working with him, that was part of what we listened to. I think consciously, you know, I created this Toro series uh, as an homage to my grandfather. I was able to learn from him and watch him and, you know, exhibit some paintings with him as a little kid with him and his friends, uh, which was neat because they were all maestros and I was just a kid. And later on, uh, it was neat because then I became the maestro, which is pretty cool. Down. And down. I teach a large class at Bakersfield College. I'm an adjunct at Fresno State. I teach for National University. I'm one of their master teachers for their teaching credential program and I teach full-time at Central Valley High School teaching uh, art students. I got some advice once from a professor here at Portova College. She said, Diego, what, so what's going on with your work? You know, you're not producing what you used to produce. And I just kind of said, well, you know, life's going on. I got, you know, family, this and that, and da, da, da. And then she says, well, you're not going to reach your, your place if you put your art second. So your art has to become first. And so I took that to heart for me to tell my parents, you know, I'm the only son. And these expectations of what they want me to do or where I'm supposed to be, I had to say no. My father's 76 now, and he still drives a, you know, a truck to haul fruit. So he's been in the ag business his entire life. And I think my father pretty much wanted me to follow in his footsteps as well. But, you know, art was in my blood. And so I had to overcome the constant fight with my dad, you know, you know, are you going to follow me or, or what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to do this. I've exhibited my work. I've been in New York. I've been in Paris. I've been in Argentina. I've been in Mexico City. I was in Vietnam one time coming back home to inspire people or feel inspired by my own home is fulfilling for me. I'm lucky. I mean, I, I don't even know what to tell you. I, I feel blessed every time somebody gives me a call. The Torres brothers who are in charge of the Mitra Fest, they want me to build a sculpture specifically just for the Mitra Fest. And I said, I'm excited, let's do it. The sculpture is 18 feet tall, 16 feet long, six feet wide, multiple color, like Una Librije from Oaxaca. This size is fine, but this size is spectacular. We have to still continue to inspire people. And so now through virtual learning and virtual instruction, it works. Hey, but it's not the same as human connection, you know, and that's what art is about. Art is truly about human connection. If art is your passion, then you must follow this passion. If you love to dance, then you should dance. And if you love to paint, then you should paint. If you want to film, then you should film. Not only am I teaching art, but I'm also teaching ethnic studies. Whether you identify yourself as a Hispanic, a Latino, a Mexican, Mexican-American, Chicano, whatever it may be, it's important for us to celebrate our own heritage. I constantly talk about, you know, different eras of uh, the Mexicano, the Latino, the Nicaraguan, the Guatemalteco, the Belizean, the Costa Rican. I want students to be exposed to that. I mean, I want them to see the wonderful things that these people have been contributing to society. I'm from Lindsay. I'm from Porterville. I'm from the Central Valley. I'm the son of a migrant worker. You know, I'm the son of a seamstress. And I'm gonna go teach my students that we can get to New York, or we can get to Paris, or we can get to Tokyo, or wherever we want to go exhibit our work if we stick to our heart. <laughs>